In this video, I'll show you how to do this to rusty effect. Now you'll need the filter package called GMIC. There's a later one on this. The version, latest version is 2.02 .02 or 02. So you click on the down arrow there and you'll download the one for your particular system, whether it be Apple, Linux or Windows. Now we've got the, uh, the filter package installed. Now we need a clock face. So I'll close all, discard, go and load a recent image, which is a clock on my kitchen wall. Now it's a JPEG image, so I need to add an alpha channel. Right click on it and add an alpha channel. Go to the elliptical tool, choose to expand from the center, place it in the center of the clock and expand out and just give yourself a little bit of room around outside the clock. Now go to select and in virtual selection and press the delete key which removes the, the kitchen wall. Now we go to select and select none. Now we go to our filters, the GMIC filter package. Now this is a new filter package so there's a few little tricks in it. So we go down to deformations, click on the down arrow, and there's what we need, continuous to Rossi. Now even in the default settings, it sets it up very nicely. So I'll leave it at the settings, but also there's, um, up here if you make an error, this is the reset button. It resets everything back to normal. And also you've got your magnification here, you can change the magnification and have a look at what you want to see on that little screen there. So I'll click apply or OK. And it also shows you the process down below, how many seconds it's going to take. And there's our effect. Now there's quite a few, a lot of effects in that filter package there, especially on that, the rusty effect. So I'll move the clock up the top and switch the eye off on the clock face when we just made. Now we'll go back to filters and we click on reshow the GMIC package where we were. And there we have it. So we can, I'll just scroll down to the bottom here and I'll click on the edge behavior. You've got the X behavior, reflect. You see the effect you get there? And now the Y behavior, click on the reflect again. And you give yourself multiple clocks all over the place. So it's quite a, a, a good filter package. Now, if you want to reset that or open all filters, you click that little button there, it'll open all the filters. And you click it again and it brings you back to that normal format. So we click OK. Shows the processing in seconds once again. And there we have it, that one there. So we just put that one in a bin and just put that one on and move it down below. That's our De Rossi effect. So there's a, a hard copy of this procedure on the website listed below and also the website for this GMIC uh, Gray's Magic Image Computing website to be able to download the filters.